Hey guys, what the heck is going on? We are here at Start Gaming in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. We had our annual uh, Jackpot Goat tournament. And what's your name, dude? Uh, Jesse Shook. And did you get like first place or something like Undefeated that? Undefeated in Swiss, but the finals. <laughs> it's pretty good, man. Pretty good. Uh, we didn't get to play, though. Yeah. No, well, maybe next time. Yeah. Um, so what did you play, dude? Uh, I played, uh, it's Chaos Warrior, but it doesn't play Sork. It's like Warrior Toolbox. Okay, cool. All right. So, but yeah, let's get into it, man. All I'm right. curious. Uh, BLS. He's a warrior. He's good. He's okay. uh, the best card. Uh, three Blade Lane. Great card. It's okay. Uh, two <laughs> Mystic Swords on level two. This card's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Chaos Turbo just like folds to this. It's, right. it's a very good card. Uh, then it's like the more Utility Warriors. Uh, Exiled, this card's crazy. DD Warrior Lady, this card's good. Uh, Sasuke is either really good or really bad depending on how they play. Right. Is that a side card for you? Uh, eh, it goes back and forth. You just like having the light. Okay. You know, you can kill spies, you can kill face up sorks. Right. Um, Dawn. Uh, I want to cut him a lot, but it just comes up where you search him to get a free hit. Do you ever set him if you see your opponent uh, yeah, playing Kikuchi? Yeah, pretty yeah. much always, yeah. yeah. Uh, Zombira. So a lot of people don't play this. This is kind of like the dark version of this in a lot of scenarios. Right. Uh, you can rotiform to swing over defense mode Sork. Okay. Uh, defense mode Spy. Uh, you can rotiform to swing over 2k Blade Knights in the mirror. Okay. Um, against like a ton of different decks, you can just like swing over something. Then he's still 19. He's hard to deal with. Okay. Um, he's just kind of utility. Card. Okay. But he can't attack direct though, he right? He cannot attack direct. But he's a searchable 21 dark, which is right. like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, still you good. Deck yeah. Devin, yeah. Right, right. Uh, and then so for like just the non-warrior monsters, uh, two Kaiku, okay. just uh, aggressive card, good against chaos. Uh, Breaker, just a good card. Right. Uh, sure Priest, I thought there were going to be more scapegoat decks here than what I played, okay. so I decided to play this. Uh, normally it could be like a third Kaiku, skill dark. And there was just so much chaos, just regular chaos. Like, oh yeah, I like played it was like, crazy. of the five rounds, I think I played like four chaos. Yeah, I played like four or five, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, so that's the monsters, I think it's like 15 or 16. Okay. Uh, spells, you got Trinity. Okay. Uh, three books, kind of go back and forth on two to three. Um, right. Just depends, it's like a medical. Right. Uh, two Rota. Uh, actually, back to the book, I feel like... Three is good right now, just because so it, 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 Sork is such a big... Yeah, so, Is that why you're playing three? Because yeah, so um, you can get kind of bonus synergy points with Swordsman level two also. Ah, um, okay, but yeah, okay. so like in the Chaos matchup, like for example, you'll have a Blade Knight, maybe you have a Mystic Swordsman or whatever, they summon Sork. Uh, in the event you have a Swordsman, you can just like, you know, book. Right. Swing. Um, okay. Yeah, it just, it's just like the most high utility card, and that's kind of what I wanted. With okay, stuff. cool, man. Uh, two rotas just searches all your dudes. Right. Have uh, you ever had like a shortage of targets? Or do you no, yeah. no, no, never. <laughs> okay. uh, especially adding the Zombira right. and the second copy of Mystic Swordsman just okay. gives you more targets. Gotcha. Uh, two noblemen. Okay. This is like the card you want to draw every hand. Right. This card is like crazy. Uh, heavy and MST. Okay. Uh, I play Snatch Steel. A lot okay. of people don't play Snatch Steel. Uh, this is an aggro deck, so you just try to beat them. Uh, alternatively, sometimes you can't deal with like spies or sorks. So this takes it and helps you do that. Okay. Uh, one premature. Uh, I'm not playing Chaos Sorcerer, so this is just kind of a more playable card. Okay. Really good with Exile Force. I was about to multiple, ask you if that hits. was like your second Exile Force. Yep. Yeah. Or like um, against certain like Chaos Control, you'll summon Swordsman, they Solomon it, you just premature it back and kill okay. the monster. Um, it's just really good. Uh, so traps, uh, I played a call on it to go along with it. Right. So like your Chaos Warrior decks would just have these like two Chaos Sorcerers. Yeah. Um, I just like the Yeah, it's interesting. I haven't seen a lot of decks play call and premature right now. I feel like a lot of people are at least going without one or the other. So. Well, yeah, the kind of thought process is, is like, against Chaos Turbo with her Geki Breaks and stuff, uh, you're trying to hit them with the Swordsman. Yeah. You know, they're going to try to kill your Swordsman the best they can. Uh, right. And you're just kind of getting that back every okay. time. Uh, same with Kaiku. Getting Kaiku back right, on their yeah. turn to cut them off is really cool. Yeah, have you do your standby phase Kaiku? Like, call Haunted Kaiku? Oh, yeah, sometimes. yeah, especially, like, in combo with, like, um, two Trap Dust Shoots. Okay. So you can kind of do some cute stuff there where you see what they have. Right. You know, call the Kaiku back. Uh, two, not three. This is a very matchup dependent card. Okay. Uh, it's either very good or very bad. Uh, play against a lot of Chaos, so it's good. Uh, if you play against a lot of Mirrors, this card sucks. Okay. So, Fair. Um, there's tons of cute stuff you can do with this. Uh, if I open multiples, I usually shotgun the first one, slow roll the second one. Okay. Or if it's like in the middle of the game, um, you kind of hold it until they have heavy or something. Uh, Does that ever conflict with Don's Lube? No. No? Okay. Uh, then I played three solemn. It wouldn't be warriors without solemn. Right. It's like the trademark card of the deck. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're just playing aggro. Your life points don't matter, so you're just trying to beat your opponent. Okay. Uh, two copies of two copies of Sakuretsu. 
Uh, so the third book moon could be a third Sakuretsu, just kind of depending on okay. uh, what you're expecting to play. If you think okay. you're going to play more mirrors, you play more Sakuretsus or like widespread ruin, more chaos for like the moons. Okay. Um, but the deck is kind of, you know, uh, I'm going all in to beat you down, so uh, I need to protect my guys. And this is like the best card to do that. Uh, of course, uh, the mirror force for that also. Right. Uh, then ring and torrential. Ring is like the best card in go for that. Uh, yeah, for sure. This card closes out like tons of games. <laughs> yeah. Great card. Uh, torrential. A lot of people cut torrential on the warrior deck, but you need just cards to clear the board and come back. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is the main deck. Cool, Four man. cards. What all on your side was actually useful today? Uh, so I think everything came in at one point or another, except for one card. Uh, so two kinetic soldiers. Okay. Uh, this is for the mirror. I played one mirror. You put them in. And that's not a warrior, that's a machine. Right, <laughs> For yeah, anybody that's what I... <laughs> Thanks. Uh, See you, dude. Second copy of Ashura Priest. Okay. This is for like your standard goat control type of decks. Okay. Uh, decks that play through scapegoat. Okay. Um, decks that play like Mystic Tomato and stuff. Because um, you're just trying to clear through the board right. and attacking directly. So it's kind of there for that. Uh, Trod, similar uh, type of theory behind that. You don't really want to main deck it because it's not good in a lot of scenarios. Yeah. Um, but you know, if they're walling up on spies or defense mode sorts, mm. once again, this kind of oh, clears yeah, the way. Sure. Uh, so I've sided in all those cards. Uh, two smashing grounds. Uh, this is just like another high utility card, good in the mirror, good in like kind of weirder matchups. Um, this card came in a lot. This is good. Uh, two mind control. I uh, float between two to three. It's as good as your opponent is. Exactly. Thing. So, okay. Um, you know, I'm a fan of two, personally. Yeah. yeah. Um, the better thing that this deck can take advantage of, um, as opposed to like playing this in chaos control or like chaos turbo sometimes, yeah. is uh, if you like take a blank, like a tomato, a sang, and a sinister. Mm -hmm. um, it's like really, really sucks. At least in this deck, you can kind of really tempo them. Mm -hmm. So like maybe stealing their one monster and dealing like two to three thousand puts them in that range where now they're having to respond to stuff differently. So do you ever, you ever like mind control reinforcements and then you're just like, okay, salute or something yeah, like exactly. that? Yeah, okay, exactly. Cool. So uh, yeah, sometimes you're just clearing a path. Right. Uh, there's another card on my side deck that's kind of similar to that and that's uh, Tooth and Pulse. Okay. Uh, just kind of clearing the way for stuff. Um, there's cute matchups where this comes in handy. Uh, like that Monarch deck you talk about so much, right? Yeah. Uh, you sold <laughs> change, I just bounced my monster back. Uh, you know, whatever. When uh, you do that sometimes. Yeah, this is uh, it's a very high utility card. It's very cool. For sure. I like it. Uh, it's good against Thousand Uh Two Magic Jammer. Didn't play any combo, so I didn't side him in. Okay. Uh, it's just there, so I don't die to, like, okay. turn and whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, then probably the best card in my side deck, uh, Three Dust Tornado. Okay. Comes in all the time. Um, your games get very grindy very quick. Uh-huh. Um, and certain decks like Chaos can't really play with low resources. So it's, you know, when you're just beating them down, in phase, dust their back row, now you're hitting them with Swordsman again, now you're hitting them with a Kaiku. Okay. You know, um, you're just clearing out the game. Uh, I got a lot of messenger pieces uh, sided against me, so this was good there too. Okay. Um, it's almost so good you would main it. Right. For, Is, and, okay, so one question about the main, like, was there ever a time when you had BLS and you didn't have targets in the grave, or was it? Um, yeah, a couple times. Um, I mean, obviously kind of the open risk, it, Yeah, it's yeah. kind of the risky play. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you got to see, you have... This doesn't really count as a dark. Um, you've got these guys, and then you've got these searchable darks. Uh, then you have him as a searchable light. PD Warrior Lady doesn't really count as a light. Okay. Uh, then you have your three Blade Knights, of course. Um, and you know your Rotas are most likely going to get you these at first, right. and kind of through the middle of the game. Um, but that's the main reason I didn't play Chaos Sorcerer in this deck. I would rather okay. play like Call and Premature. Because um, I always have at least one dude in the graveyard, but having right. the corresponding attributes doesn't always line up. Okay. So what were your matchups today, if you remember? Uh, so the so first round I played like a Chaos Control. Round two was another Chaos Control. Round three was Zombies. Round four was a Warrior Mirror. And round five was uh, kind of like, it's kind of Chaos Turbo, but it played like Dimension Fusion. Okay. But it wasn't like a bazoo. Oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I played the same deck. Yeah, it's yeah. like a very weird yeah. kind of deck to describe. Yeah. And what was your hardest matchup? Uh, the zombie deck. So uh, it's actually a deck I built for my friend going into this tournament. Oh, yeah. Uh, zombies you almost beat warriors. Yourself there, huh? <laughs> zombies beat warriors very badly. Yeah. So uh, that went to uh, all the games, or all the matches were best three of five. So uh, that one definitely went to the fifth game and kind okay. of squeaked that one out. Um, cool. Yeah. And drove in from KC, you want to give a shout out to your uh, locals? I actually don't have a locals. You don't um, have a locals? I do not. Bro, you can just drive four hours here. <laughs> uh, by collector store there in okay. St. Louis, Missouri. They're about four hours from me. They okay. are awesome. Check out their website. Okay. Uh, TCS5, 5% 5 off your order. Okay. Um, great team, great sponsor. Cool. I'll link them down below in the uh, 
description for you. Nice. So cool, man. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming out, and uh, yeah, dude, just congrats on first place. Thanks. Nice. So, see you, man.